Mom and I are meeting with an agent from the county extension office today. So this tree immediately behind us is kind of an issue. It's the one tree in the yard where we actually regularly work and play under these giant limbs that frequently large pieces break off of. Some of these other giant oak trees are basically just covered in vines that go all the way up the tree. And we're hoping that this agent who represents the county extension office will help us to figure out which of the trees in the yard we can save by pulling off some of the vines, if that's even possible. Or if the trees are really not well and they need to come down. This tree that we park under every single day is obviously not healthy. But then we also have these giant oak trees right by the house. And since we just had that really crazy, terrible house fire, we're extremely concerned about having these giant trees nearby that potentially could be struck by lightning, set the house on fire, or just fall over and crush us. Josh from the county extension office just left. He was fabulous. Yeah, he was really very helpful. And it's encouraging that the trees, it's not like they're all terribly dying, but he also is gonna give us the names of some arborists to be able to come out and look and see what we need to do in terms of trimming the trees maybe. And we probably do need to take the dead one down. Our hope is that we will be able to just trim off some of these branches, especially ones that are over the house or touching the house right now. We have so many trees to deal with and they're so tall. It may actually end up being extremely expensive just to get the limbs cut off of a bunch of these. We had an arborist come and check our trees out and it was encouraging. First tree that we need to really take care of is this dead one. It's been hit by lightning. He looked at this tree over here. There's a a part down in the bottom where there's got some root rot. Also, he said that when you're trimming branches, it's better to do it in the winter because it has to do with the bugs and things. He said, you know, some of these bottom branches could be trimmed. On this tree, which is covered with these vines, he said that it's hard to tell how healthy the tree is when it's covered with these kind of vines, that what they would have to do is cut some of it off the bottom and um, be able to look at better to see what condition the trunk is in. It was interesting, even this tree here that's covered in the ivy, he didn't seem to be overly concerned that it looked bad or anything. This tree, which I was very concerned about, what he thinks it's suffering from is uh, drought syndrome from a couple years ago. Sometimes when there's a drought, it just affects the tree. But he said it looked like it was healthy enough that it would probably be okay. It'll come back. Wow. Yeah, that was very, very helpful because I thought that one was on its way out. But he's just saying you definitely need to get the um, these branches that are dead looking off. This tree here has root rot going around on this side. He said the thing that's good though is this particular type of tree is a slow growing tree. Even if it does have some root rot going on, it's probably okay. And these dead branches, it's normal for trees to have the parts on the bottom to die off and the parts on the top to grow. So these branches need to come off, especially like the one, this one, the ones that are going over the house. We got good news. The Georgia Power folks came out and took a look at that dead branch that is right over our power line and they are going to come and cut it down. A work order has been put in and hopefully it'll be gone soon. We got quotes from three different people, three different companies and this one we chose was the least expensive. If you're ever doing anything like this, you definitely need to get quotes from several people because the difference in price was incredible. I mean, the highest ones were like more than twice the, as much as the lowest one. This is so crazy cool. So this tree has been dead for a very long time and the branches are extending over to where our bus is. Wow. What'd you think, babe? That branch up there was so strong enough to hold the giant branch bigger than it. Yes. Look at now, he looks like he's bouncing out there on that branch. Oh my God. And there is the dead branch. One of them.
Wow, this is so cool. Wow. And there he is, the awesome man who cut our tree down up there at the top. Oh, Cheryl, yay! Wow. Oh my gosh, you can feel the earth shake a little. Wow, that's cool. Pretty cool, huh, baby? of metal inside of the trunk. That's why he's having a hard time getting it. Wow, and there it is. There's metal in the middle of a tree. You want to smile, babe? Wow. Wow. Now we have to get all the wood chopped up. It's a fall was just Look how big, this is so cool. No wonder it shook the ground. This wood is like really beautiful. Wow. That looks like a, like a gamer-like color, right? Uh, she doesn't know she's not a gamer. <laughs> tree trunk is now cut into these really cool looking pieces. Oh my gosh. Wow. And this piece is hollow. Oh, this is so beautiful. I know, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I almost want to do something with these pieces. Oh, look how interesting that piece is. Unbelievable. a piece of metal inside the tree like, that actually chipped off the teeth on their chainsaws. These wood chips are going to be used to line our nature trail, so that worked out really well. They're going to cut down the limbs and then put them into wood chips for us. All the dead limbs that are by the house are going to come down. The firefighters is making the trees into that. Yeah, the tree, the tree removal guys are cutting off the trees. They're bringing it in that. Yeah, babe. They're cutting it into wood chips. Wow, they're pulling the trees.
tree and also wood chips that we chipped up from the branches on our nature trail. enjoyed this video and you found the information to be helpful if you did give us a thumbs up you can subscribe to the channel ring the bell for notifications and then you'll be alerted the next time we have a video ready thanks for watching bye guys bye, bye guys bye. wait wait this is what i look like good yeah. <laughs> 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 okay <laughs>